No, if you don't talk to the Gorons, Lovatia does not eat them. If you don't talk to the Gorons, the Gorons save themselves. Because if you leave the room and come back, the Goron will be gone. Which indicates that he has now freed himself. Are you serious? <laughs> nice. Task 5 sounds perfect for me. Okay, so so the thing about Task 5 sounding perfect for me, I understand why you might think that, and I thought so too. I thought I was like, completionist, 100%. I like those things. Those things appeal to me. But then what actually got me uh, most interested in this task was not the 100% aspect, but the max percent child aspect. Or at least me choosing to go for the max percent child, max percent child approach. Miss Gway Hover, yeah. Surely some task will have me want to do Gway Hover. Surely there will be a task where Gway Hover is optimal. No, I'm not gonna go adult at all. It's gonna be child link, completing both the child and adult dungeons. You feel reverse order bottom floor might be faster in Deku? Well, you would be right. That is exactly the plan. But yeah, because child dungeons don't have any key doors, there's no... You don't need to worry about keys in Deku or in any child dungeon. No, the mini dungeons don't count. It needs to be a blue warp dungeon. Would Ganna's castle count though? Does does Ganna's castle have a blue warp? Did I stutter? I just like to make fun of you guys sometimes. And if I'm not fast, I feel like the rolling Goron's gonna hit me. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I think I'm ready to start runs. Yeah, the Witch's Ground Jump there is pretty neat. If you guys remember, there was one rando where I was trying to do essentially the same thing in GTG once. And that, that was like the day after Jolin found that. And I was messing with it for this. And I was trying to see if I could implement it in rando too, but I couldn't get it. Yeah, target time is probably like 42. I think maybe I can get a 41. 42 will be my soft goal for now. Doing this dungeon as child because I think it's cooler and faster. Because this way I don't have to go adult and watch the adult cutscene. And also I get to do cool max percent child related stuff. Uh, only- there are only specific rooms that have a- I- my run's over. I- <laughs> Alright, well, that's cool. Bad run anyway. What happened is I lost my last chew before I could RBA, and now there's no way to get chews back. Unless I could have a setup to do RBA without chews, which in some places you can, but I don't think that place does. First time chat. I am an artist. I design creative and custom artwork like logo, banner, overlays, emotes, intro and outro for gamers. Do you need any help? Uh, no first time chatter. Thanks. I think I'm good. Dry, there have been people trying to take your job. Every now and then I get DMs on Twitter of people trying to take your job. I like, I've actually gotten a few, a few really weird DMs saying like, Hey, do you need an editor? I'd be a good editor. Like, kind of like, seemingly thinking that I don't have an editor. Which is like, what? Do you, like, I mean, I guess a lot of these... Offers are people that don't act they're like copy paste and don't actually know what YouTube channel they're talking about But I just think it's really funny Sure dry. I'll, I'll give you notice if I ever fire you of course Maybe you think dry is underperforming. Oh, man the shade Man, they just think dry's dry's editing is so bad and they can do it better. Oh No uh, I'm gonna try something weird uh, that's not how I wanted that to work out. <laughs> oh, split, whoops, whatever. Weird thing was I was gonna take damage from the keys and then fall damage, hoping that the fall damage would kill me. But then... Uh... I got hit out of the air by a keys and then I couldn't take fall damage. Because the Beemos, uh, the Beemos ignored me after the first hit. I usually try to take two hits from the Beemos, but it only hit me once and then ignored me. Why do he die? He died because fast. 
Hardest task so far? Uh, depends on... Well, okay. Hardest task depends on a lot of different things. Is it hardest task that... Hardest route that I did or hardest task to route or hardest basic route? Because it's the hardest that I did then easily task two and I doubt that anything will beat it because I chose to make task two ridiculously hard. But if it's just the hardest to route, it might be task four because I think task four just had a lot of... Task four had a lot of different ways you could go about things. But then hardest to do like a basic route for is probably this task because I think no matter what, there's not really an easy way to do two dungeons 100% completion. I think no matter what, you'll have to learn a lot. Yeah, task two was the one I did the shadow hover for. That was like probably the easiest task if you did the basic route or I don't know, maybe task one was the easiest if you did the basic route. But yeah, the basic route for task two was fairly easy, but I just chose to make it way harder. Man, look at me doing it as fast as uh, a defeat Ganon runner. Yeah, Childfire is pretty great. That's half the reason why I chose this route. Just lots of really cool tricks. Fire is just the best adult dungeon to do with low item requirements. Especially as child. And also just kind of the easiest, I guess. One is child because... Water requires some insane hovers. Shadow... Uh, Shadow is actually probably like around the same as fire in terms of speed and difficulty, but requires lullaby, which is much worse. Forest requires some like really weird routing and huge hovers. I mean, fire has a huge hover, I guess, but everything just works out really nicely for child fire. N as nicely as like doing an adult dungeon as child can work out. Yeah, I think most people will be doing... Well, most people will be doing similar routes. I think pretty much the only dungeons people are going to be doing are Deku and DC or... and uh, Forest and Fire. I don't think anyone's really doing any dungeons other than that. Except maybe some people might do Shadow. But Deku DC is for child and Forest Fire for adult are pretty much like the best ones to go with. Well, unfortunately for Spirit, Child has no way to beat Twinrova without SRM. So... There it is off limits for child only. I don't think most people are doing child only. <clears throat> I think a lot of people realize that child only is probably really fast. Although I don't know how many people are actually going to commit to it. I, I think there's some people that are like, okay, child fire might be the fastest, but I don't know if I particularly want to do it. And they might just go with doing it as adult. That didn't work. Dude, uh, this is really bad now. Uh, what do I do? Uh, uh, how do I even get RBA now? Um, I think I need to do this. All right, this is gonna be potentially very stupid. Okay. Well, this worked, but not the way I wanted it to. I am not confident that I am going fast right now. Okay, so that cost me a lot of time. <laughs> how many, how long was I just hesitating not knowing what to do? It's a good thing that I had spare shoes. And save warping help, save warping would kill my run. All right, I'll at least still be ahead. Forgot how good the end of my PB was. I might need to not suck to keep up. Okay, but I easily lost like 45 seconds total from that whole ordeal. Are you serious? I didn't think that could happen. All right, now the run's super over. All right, I am probably not gonna do that mega flip anymore if that can happen. Man, the Fire Temple was actually pretty good up until uh, right before Flare Dancer.
No, definitely not still PB. This will be pretty far from PB at this point. Because I'm going to have to do another RBA after this now. It was good until it wasn't, yeah. I normally don't have to do this RBA, but I had to because of missing that Mega Float. Good split again. How many splits can I miss? That No, that one was intentional. I just didn't want to see. No, Slingshot Weird Shot doesn't work. Slingshot Weird Shot can't actually, like, shoot under the ground. It's weird. Or at least I don't think it can. Although, even, even if it could, uh, I usually come in here with zero Slingshot Seeds, or close to zero. Or can? I think it's really weird, right? Like, actually getting underground Slingshot is requires, like, a different setup or something. Yeah, it's Boomerang Weird Shots, that's it, that don't go underground. You're right. But yeah, um, we're trying Volvagia is just, yeah, I don't think it'd be faster anyway than the true nut method. And I usually come in here with close to zero seeds anyway. All right. Honestly surprised I was only a minute behind. Okay, real quick, I just want to check what my splits were. I was a minute 20 ahead. I was a minute 20 ahead at past firewall room, wow. That was a choke. Does it count as a choke if you don't know that you're that far ahead? Because I thought I was like 20 seconds ahead. Uh, for fastest adult dungeon, it really depends on how well equipped you are. Forest is definitely faster than fire if you have stuff like hookshot, hover boots, bombs. But if you don't have those things, it's probably faster to do Fire Temple without those things than to get those things and do Forest. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, there is no hearts here. How do you know the recording started if you don't hear the Amarek beeps? Why do you need to know if the recording started? I just need to know if the recording started. You're being recorded? Yes, you are being recorded. We're all being recorded. You should know this by now. And you're also on the stream. And the stream is getting recorded too. Using chat for nefarious AI related purposes. Yes, I am I am using chat to collect data for my new AI. That's going to be based off of my Twitch chat. It'll be the greatest AI in the world. Twitch chat bot. I mean, surely someone's already done that. Nice. Good split. <laughs> I understand missing missing fire temple splits. I did not think I was going to miss a bottle split today. I just didn't want to see it because it was so bad. Hey, it's the guy with a soothing voice from YouTube. Thank you. I'm glad you think of me like that. I'm glad that's the first thing you think of. Not not speedrunner or streamer or rando player, but the guy with the voice. The she podcast. What would I even talk about in my podcast? The OOT things of the week. All the latest news in the OOT community podcast. Actually, you know, nowadays that might actually not be a terrible idea, considering there's actually a lot going on in various aspects of OOT, like speedrunning, ROM hacking, rando, e comp even. Maybe that actually might not be the worst idea. Who would be my co-host? I don't know. Who who else is relatively knowledgeable in most of those areas? Fig at least. Yeah, Fig. Danny. Danny doesn't... I don't think Danny pays too much attention to rando stuff, but otherwise, yeah. There's, there's just a surprisingly low amount of crossover between speedrunners and rando. Or at least, like, the top speedrunners, I guess. A YouTube commenter from any percent videos. Oh, that reminds me. Recently, I got a, I got a comment recently on a video that was... It was one of your typical, like, uh, anti-speedrun comments that was like... Uh, I forget how it was worded, but it, it it went the way of like, why are you bothering with this? This is this is lame and like except you know went on like an essay, a multi-paragraph essay, 
to explain why speedrunning is so pointless and stuff. But then I saw the name, and the name was someone that I've seen in chat plenty, and now I know it's, uh, it's an obvious parody. And I got really sad knowing that it's obviously someone trying to parody it and not a legit comment. It made me really sad. I think I saw the comment Kita posted. I remember seeing a dumb YouTube comment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think I remember it, yeah. Soy B1 skip. I, I know I know that was an autocorrect of SVA because I just had to look up that video recently, but that is a funny autocorrect. Actually, you guys want to hear a funny story about the the acronym BOTW and Bomb the Well and Breath of Wild and stuff. So I have an old video from like, I don't know, 2013 or 2014. It's literally just like some trick demonstration of a trick in Bomb the Well. And because it has BOTW in the title, YouTube says it's a video of Breath of the Wild three years or three or four years before the game came out. Or at least it used to. This was a while ago, so maybe I don't. Maybe YouTube's system has gotten better now. But at least uh, YouTube thought that I had one of the first videos ever of Breath of the Wild. I say one of because I feel like that must have happened to someone else. Yes, I'm just psychic. I just predicted Breath of the Wild. I've always liked Fire Temple, but it's always been my like third favorite adult dungeon. It's like right in the middle. It's like I like it, but I like some other dungeons better. My adult dungeon ranking is probably Water and Spirit Tide, and then probably like Fire and Shadow Tide, actually, and then Forest. Not that I don't like Forest, it's still good. No one say it. Contents these chests are so boring. They really are. That is one thing I love about Rando, is that these chests become something interesting instead of extremely dull items. Alright, not doing the uh, double chew mega flip. Double chew mega flip bad. I'm slightly worried about this. I think the bugs might have moved me a little bit. Oh yeah, it looks like it still worked fine. Alright. That's the last thing in the run. Now is just the map check when I void. Alright. Decent run. Okay, that run was... was that... I forgot, did I have a bad Deku this run? Deku was bad, I forgot. Fire was mostly good. What was my fire time? Enter fire, 22-28, done. Okay, so barely over 21 minutes fire. That's pretty good. I could. That's still like a minute I could save, or not a minute, like 30 seconds I could save in fire, but still. Sub 43 next, yeah, I think I'm gonna 42, at least. Yeah, I'll, I'll still try to improve this.